If you've ever had a severe allergic reaction to something you've eaten, touched, or taken as medication, you know it can be extremely uncomfortable and in some cases life-threatening. But what exactly are the causes and how should it be treated? Here with the answers is Dr. Donald Lambino, the medical director of the emergency department at Midstate Medical Center. Doctor, thank you for being here. My pleasure. Uh, how many allergic reactions are you seeing in your emergency room these days? Oh, quite a few. It's there's a day does not go by without at least a few. And what's the medical term for this? Well, it can, it can be a continuum from just a really local inflammatory reaction to a real severe anaphylactic reaction. Mm -hmm. And the anaphylactic reactions are the ones that we get very concerned about. And what typically are causing these reactions? You know, it's your body's response to any antigen or any exposure to something it perceives as a danger. And that could be something as simple as dander or dust you inhale. Um, chemicals that you're exposed to, like um, poison ivy, it could be medications. There's a lot of different things that can trigger an infection. Foods too, right? You Foods, never know. Foods, bee stings, any insect envenomation, any sting. So, what is your body doing? I know you. It's reacting. Yep, it's reacting. And it's trying to get it get it's something to, out, or well, it's trying to protect you. So, sure. your immune system is there to protect you from any invaders that can, you know, penetrate your skin or your you know, going through your nose into your lungs. And when that happens, your body has a response. And that response can be very localized. Mm -hmm. So if you got stung and you get a little red spot, that's one thing. Or sometimes the immune system can overreact and get out of control. And when that happens, you can get the anaphylactic type reaction, which would be more systemic and cause whole body rashes, trouble breathing. Um, you know, your blood pressure can drop, you can pass out, and you can actually die from a serious allergic reaction. So it could be life-threatening. Oh, you absolutely. have to take this very seriously. Uh, when do you know that you need some sort of medical attention? That's a great question. So really what we tell people is um, if you start to get a reaction that encompasses your entire body, like a rash on your entire body, absolutely mm -hmm. come in. Most critical, though, is if you have any throat swelling, itching, lip swelling, tongue swelling, um, any of those things, you really should not wait. You should call 911 immediately or use your EpiPen and then call 911. Let's talk a little bit about the EpiPen here because sure. it's, it's a lifesaver for some people. Absolutely. Yes, it's a lifesaver. And how does it work? And, and it's typically for bee stings or any sort of reaction? Any, any allergic reaction that encompasses the serious symptoms, the anaphylactic symptoms like throat swelling, um, it's epinephrine. And it's a, it's a metered dose according to your weight. So there's ones for kids and there's ones for adults. And you just inject it. You can inject it right into your thigh through your clothes. Mm -hmm. It's an auto injector, so you really never see the needle. And um, it actually retracts, so it's relatively safe to use. Um, and it does act immediately, and it can be life-saving. And there's a little training one that comes yeah, with it, which is a nice a little feature, little trainer, right? <laughs> which is nice. It comes in every pack, so just make sure if you have kids and stuff, throw this out. Don't keep this one around um, because you don't want them to use it accidentally. Um, but it is nice because you can, you know, use it uh, and practice a few times just so you're comfortable with it. So you get a reaction to something, but you don't necessarily need the EpiPen. Absolutely not, no. Um, how do you care for something like that? If it's a bee sting, it's a little reaction. Or yeah, that. if it's just localized, honestly, take some Benadryl, mm -hmm. put some cool compresses on it. And if it stays localized, you know, you can use some hydrocortisone cream on it also. All of those are over-the-counter preparations. So mm -hmm. that's what I would do for the localized reactions. If it's more systemic, if you're getting hives on your body, certainly again, Benadryl, Zyrtec, Claritin, mm -hmm. um, any of the over-the-counter antihistamines will work well. But if it's not responding well, or if you're having any other symptoms, like we said, uh, lip swelling, throat swelling, tongue swelling, mm -hmm. you really need to call 911 and get in to see us immediately. And then once you are in the, uh, the ER, I'm assuming you're seen fairly quickly if you're in some sort of shock here, right? Well, absolutely. You know, number, number one, you would be seen very quickly if you're having a severe reaction. But number two, at Midstate, we do have one of the quickest times in the state to be seen by a doctor. It's publicly reported, and we were 16 minutes last year. So, wow, that is yeah. incredible. But it would be much quicker if you're truly having an allergic reaction or if you come in by ambulance, certainly you're seen, you know, immediately. Very good. All important information, doctor. Uh, and if you'd like to get more information about Midstate Medical Center, pretty easy to do. All the info's there on your screen. They are located at 435 Lewis Avenue in Meriden. You could also call 1-800-DOCTORS or visit midstatemedical.org. We'll keep those EpiPens handy. Great. Right? Yep, <laughs> Thanks absolutely. for being here. Thank you. All right.